welcome to Storytime with Susan. Today we're going to read Mr. McGee and the Biting Flea, written by Pamela Allen, published by Puffin Books. Mr. McGee and the Biting Flea, written and illustrated by Pamela Allen, read to you by Susan Burke. Mr. McGee went out to play down to the beach one windy day. Mr. McGee was running along, flying his kite and singing a song. Just then, a dog came racing by, frightening the birds up into the sky. Mr. McGee was having fun, flying his kite up close to the sun, when jumping and leaping the dog joined in, chasing the kite and making a din. Mr. McGee was holding on tight until suddenly he felt a bite. That was when he let go of the kite. Up, up it went right out of sight. Ow! cried Mr. McGee. Something bad is biting me. It wasn't a fly and it wasn't a bee. It was as small as small could be. So small it was too small to see. It was a jumping, biting flea. Ooh, ow, ee, cried Mr. McGee. He twisted and turned. He writhed and he squirmed. Ooh, ow, ee, cried Mr. McGee. Where is that flea that is biting me? He squawked and he squealed, he rocked and he reeled. Ooh, ow, ee, cried Mr. McGee. He jumped and he jiggled, he wobbled and wiggled. Ooh, ow, ee, cried Mr. McGee. It bit him here. It bit him there. It bit him simply everywhere. Ooh, ow, ee, cried Mr. McGee. See him hopping all around? Now he's howling on the ground, but still that flea cannot be found. Ooh, ow, ee, cried Mr. McGee. Ah, now he's got it. Wait and see. Has he caught that pesky flea? Ooh, ow, ee, cried Mr. McGee. Ooh, ow, ee. Ooh, ow, ee. And with one mighty jump, he jumped into the sea. That was when the flea jumped free. Oh my, oh me, sang Mr. McGee. It happened that flea didn't like the sea. It landed in the hair of the dog that was there. Ow! End of the story.